which is something that's near and dear to fill in my heart for sure. This task is in short team members and stakeholders are adequately trained. Indeed, Emily, don't we just love training? Yeah. <laughs> and we, uh, we definitely feel comfortable with these enablers determine the required competencies and elements of training. Yes, yeah, so we developed the resource management plan and in the resource management plan, that is where we define the roles and responsibilities of the project team members in order to create a project organizational structure and provide guidance regarding how resources will be assigned and managed. And not only are we gonna assign them, but we are also going to help them get to the level of performance they need to be, which is many a time through training. Let's take a look at our next enabler here. So again, it's all about training. And the next enabler is? Enabler two is determine training options based on the training needs. So again, the project manager, same thing. Develop your resource management plan. And in the resource management plan, you wanna determine how to train the team. And some of the vehicles for training are coaching, mentoring, individual development plans, online employee development, cross-training, and even stretch assignments. The next enabler, number three, is allocate resources for training. So again, project manager needs to be aware of the resource element when it comes to training. And of course, training could have challenges such as hectic employee schedules, maybe a dispersed workforce, different learning habits, I don't know, COVID, you know, lack of engagement is also another one. Um, also training that just isn't relevant. We wanna make sure we stay away from that. And also cost of training. The project manager needs to find ways around uh, this. And one of the ways we do this in the world of Agile is to have a team that has T-shaped skills. In other words, they have broad skills, but deep. They have certain specialisms. And if you've got a team with many people that have broad skills, but various specialisms, they can cross train each other on those areas of their specialisms. And that could be one way around training. Let's go to our next enabler. All right, number four is measure the training outcomes. So the project manager here could use KPIs or other qualitative assessments to deduce the effectiveness of training. When we talk about measuring the training outcomes, talking about data mining, maybe a learning management system could be used to track the time spent in course activities, uh, completion of activities or courses, dropout rates and the grades. Also, when we talk about this, pre and post training surveys can offer some instant insight, while other data, like whether the training has provided, has produced a desired behavior change that could be collected over time. So the summary of all that we've talked about here, determining required competencies, determining training options, allocating resources for training and measuring training outcomes. And that concludes task five. Next, we'll be moving on to task six.